And now, KCAU 9 presents Sports Zone with sports director Anthony Mitchell and sports anchor Noah Sacco. Your inside look at the local sports action begins now. Hillside and Mustang cheerleaders, and you're watching Sports Zone. The highlights start now. Yes! Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the KCU 9 Sports Zone. I'm Anthony Mitchell. Alongside me is the one, the only, Rock'em Sock'em, Noah Sacco. Folks, we have a ton in store for you tonight. Top matchups, big plays, and of course, our Top Stop and Player of the Week awards. But first, we'll kick off the night with our Sports Zone Game of the Week, featuring number four, Will Fonda, hosting 2021 state semifinalist number one, Remsen St. Mary's, a matchup that's become one of the top rivalries in all of eight man football. Hawks have taken control of the series the last three years, but an unbeaten Mustang squad is poised for the upset. A battle between quarterbacks here in this one, RSM's Kale Ortman and Will Fonda's Mason Dix are a pair of the best under center in all of eight man. Five minutes into the game, Dix rushing to the pocket, heaves a prayer downfield. It finds the hands of Trent Struess. He will find his way to pay dirt. PAT is missed, but Mustang strike first six zip. RSM not phased. Ensuing drive, Ortman to Ryan Willman over the middle, breaks a tackle, and he is gone. Gone indeed. Throwing the stiff arm and diving to the pylon. Hawks in front, seven to six. Later in the quarter, we see that connection once again, and here's Willman shedding yet another tackle for another foot race to the end zone. No one is going to catch him. RSM extends the edge 13 to 6, and Ortman continued to hit his groove in the second quarter. Jackson bunkers a reception and the score to make it 21-6 Hawks. They led 31 to 31 to 6 at the break as RSM stays perfect on the year, 61 to 13, the final. And what a way to start the night. How about that? Absolutely. But now it's time to get to the rest of tonight's action. Continuing with number eight, Hartley Melvin Sanborn looking to hand number two, West Hancock, its first loss. The Eagles ended the Hawks' postseason hopes 27 to zip in 2020, a shot at redemption for ICU commit Cooper Evil and the HMS squad. First quarter, how about a top stop candidate? Less than a minute in the first quarter, Cooper Evil makes a big stop. No gain on that play. He keeps the game all tied at zero. Soon after, take a look at this 54 yard run by Cooper Evil. Great way to end the quarter. Dodging tackles left and right. His teammates giving him some love there. And it would help to break the deadlock. There's Evil again, muscling his way in for the six to nothing lead. No good on the two point attempt though, but that lead wouldn't last long. Ryland Barnes, full extension, crossing the line for the touchdown, making it a 6-6 game. And the Eagles will complete the first half comeback, the 15-yard throw by Ryan Barnes for the second half of the night. The Eagles carry 12-6 lead into half as HMS falls 31-18. In Holstein, the 1A state runners up of West Sioux aiming to push the win streak to three at Ridgeview. Starting off in the first quarter, West Sioux ball, Dylan Wiggins fakes the handoff to Carter Boatman. He makes the touchdown with the quarterback keeper. Now fast forward to the second quarter, Falcons ball again. It's Wiggins really hands it to Boatman this time for the touchdown. He take it all the way. Final minute of the half, Ridgeview's ball. Chris Brayfogle looking to throw while under pressure. He throws it to Kinnick Jensen, but it's Wiggins intercepting this one. West Sioux wins it 35 zip. Talk about great play on both sides of the ball. Metro action now. Healan coming off its first win in the John LaFleur era, hosting a tough Carroll Bunch. Quinosa throws the ball towards Max Delaney. He catches it and ends up at the Tiger 16 yard line. What a big game by the Crusaders. Healan's George Silbanos is looking to pass here. The Tigers chase with Goller. What block it. Great awareness there. Quinn Olson though looking for someone to pass to later on. See Sir Brandon Watts, that's a name. He is open, he throws, and he catches it for the first touchdown of the night. Heelan goes up 6-0. It was Bishop Heelan defending home field while picking up the big win, squeaking past Carroll 9-6. In Class 3A, the Dutchmen aiming for their first win over SBL since 2012. Fast forward to the second quarter. Dutchmen take the quick snap. Dylan Mazdam scurries over to his left and rumbles his way into the end zone. Row team would shrink the lead. Warriors now on the other end. Tyler Smith stepping up from the pocket and using his legs for a nice gain. And check out that stiff arm right there. <laughs> SBL not able to capitalize, though. That's second half. Nine. No. Home team marching down the field. Smith looking deep. He connects with Aiden and Buckholt for a big play. Now here's the scenario. Fourth and goal for SBL. Smith hands it off, but it's the Dutchman coming up with a big stop to get the ball back. And we'll see Floyd Valley defense standing tall in their own red zone. It was the Dutchman coming out on top in double overtime over SBL 27-26 the final. 
More Metro Madness. Sioux City West looking to snap a three-game losing skid, welcoming Des Moines East to town. Road team on the kickoff. They go with the onside kick and recover it. What a start for the Scarlets. Des Moines East going for it on fourth down later. Jakari Patton scans the field, goes deep for Darius Surleaf, but it's broken up by Shamar Harrell. Wolverines defense with a big time stop there. Scarlets knocking on the door though. Surleaf takes the handoff. He finds the end zone for Des Moines East. They convert the two-point try to go up eight zip. Sioux City West on the other end though. Devion West goes to his left and he do the rest. Wolverines cutting into that lead. At last check, Sioux City West holding on to a 45-40 lead with less than a minute left in the fourth quarter. And hey, we have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere. Plenty of big magic on the other side of the break. Plus, who's going to bring home our coveted Player of the Week award? Some great candidates in our remaining games. Stay in the zone.